Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Energy building action. And excitement in prime time. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I uh my elevator or my bulkheads back here are just almost set up. It's getting kind of hard in there but I'm still going to leave them alone okay I ain't touched them I ain't going to move them till tomorrow won't hit that zoom by mistake sorry about that <laughs> but uh now I'm getting this rudder straightened out I'm getting ready to glue that rudder post bulkhead in alright you guys get that well, I should just get it like this. Okay, this is what I did. Here. Okay. I took me a tape measure. And I measured down from both my stabs to the floor. We know my stabs are straight. They go straight across there. We uh, set them up with that bar. We know them stabs are straight. Alright. Now what we're going to have to do is lighten these wings and everything up with them stabs. <laughs> no, it all's gonna work out just fine. Just dandy. Okay, but what I did, just so I could uh, get, you know, a good visual on it, I measured, a, you know, a down from the tape measure on each corner and got it set in level, okay, so I can get a visual on it. And also, I took a tape measure. And uh, went up here and burn the inch. Burn it in an inch. That is 33 and a half. Same thing. Come up here and burn an inch. Put me down line up. 33 and a half on the money. For you people that don't know what I'm talking about when I say burn an inch. Okay, when you look at that tape measure, when you're trying to measure something real accurate, like a rudder, rudder post or something, and it's different on one side than it is on the other, especially when it angles, you burn that first inch, and that enables you to get a better measurement, especially off of something that's angled. You know what I mean? That's an old carpenter trick. We did that in tile. Anyone that does layout work. A lot of you guys don't know that. You know, instead of trying to go off of here, you know, something that's angled that's really hard to measure, you can just come up there, bam, burn an inch. You can get your measurement. You just got to remember to add an inch when you're doing your figuring. <laughs> that's what burning an inch means. Okay. We got that uh, ready to go. Let me mix up some tape. But while I'm mixing it up, don't you got to study this back part? <laughs> Gonna study on that. That look level to you guys. Is that straight up and down? Well, I'll get your tape measure and start going across that computer screen. <laughs> That's the biggie. That thing's got to be straight. But you know, worst case scenario, I could uh, get in there and move that little increments just by, uh, I'd have to enlarge in them holes, you know, where it's that post block aluminum deal. <laughs> get screwed to that bulkhead. <coughs> I could get in there and move it if you guys should happen to make a little bit of a mistake. So actually, 
You know, you can, you know, when you tell when them rudders are crooked, when you take off, and there, and you're standing straight behind that airplane, that's when them rudders show up. They straight. <laughs> They can sit in the pits, man. No one will notice. But they're in that takeoff, man. That is just, I can always tell right then, the first takeoff if that rudder straight or not. So I think we got this one pretty close. You guys can give it the final okay there. That way, if it's off, I can, I, I can blame you guys. <laughs> We gotta get directly behind it here so they ain't no obstacle illusion. Alright, I'm gonna mix with some epoxy. Now, this is the correct way to mix it, Paul. I hope you're watching. You gotta scrape the sides, then you gotta churn it. See how you churn that epoxy up from the bottom? You see that? This is slow motion stirring what I'm doing. It just looks so fast because I do it so fast. And scrape the sides again. Make sure you scrape that bottom. See that? Turn that stuff up from the bottom. That's how you do it. Is that right, Butch? I don't know why we can't get through these people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now was what? Oh, we, we're getting in the stash. You guys, you guys, one more. <laughs> Getting in the stash. Anyone want to play some Scarface? This whole time, churn it up from the bottom. That's the deal. If you just go like that, you don't mix it up. You gotta get down there to that bottom stuff. A little bit too thin. You don't want it too thin, it'll all run out. You guys looking over there for it. Man. You guys just wander off anywhere. I need one of them leashes. <laughs> Go, boy, go. Come on. Ah. There we go, huh? Man, just it's a little bit on the thin side. You don't want it too thick either. If it's too thick, you won't get a good bond. It's just, you don't want it to run out. And you don't want it so thick that that's perfect. See that? That's perfect right there. Okay. Pastry bag. You guys watching this? How much time we got left? Oh no, we're running out of time. This ain't never enough time. You know? You know, when anyone asks me how I made this airplane, you know what I'm going to tell them? So I built this airplane 10 minutes at a time. <laughs> oh, you guys are nuts. Alright. What was I? I'm going to get some tape. I'm going to get some tape, everybody, and I'm going to make me up a pastry bag. We're getting ready. And uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. We're Arnold. I'll be back. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back at the shop. Don't forget to show them sponsors some love.